What's bacon fam? It's your boy, Shanga Muffin here, and welcome to the first episode of Slayer Done Quick. This is a series telling you everything you need to know about your Slayer task. In this episode, we'll be tackling gargoyles. As we all know, this is the section of table of contents. Feel free to skip to a timestamp up on the screen or you can just check the description. You can click one of those hyperlinks and you can skip to any section of the video. All right, let's get into it. Gargoyles are level 111 melee based monsters that are located in the Canifus Slayer Tower. They require 75 Slayer to kill, as well as these creatures can only be destroyed by the use of a rock hammer. In addition, Priest in Peril must be completed to even access Canifus. Gargoyles are found in two locations. They are found in the basement, as well as the top floor of the Slayer Tower. Keep in mind though, the gargoyles found in the basement can only be harmed while on a Slayer task. Vanica, Sheldar, Konar, Neve, and Duradel all give this task, although Duradel has the highest task weight at 8. Gargoyles are weak to crush weapons. Although, you certainly can slay these creatures with ease with any weapon and style of combat that you wish. Most players either slay these creatures with melee or ranged, but melee is the primary choice. The main reasons as to why gargoyles is a sought after task is because of their high drop rates of alpable items, runes, coins, and noted drops. In addition, while on task, a marble gargoyle may spawn. They drop the normal items, but they have a chance that you could receive a dust battle staff, a mist battle staff, imbued heart, or eternal gem. Overall, these are excellent to have for a task. Although, they're pretty mediocre when you don't have them as a task. I don't really recommend people to camp these all that often, but certainly some people do. There are only two requirements for you to slay gargoyles. First and foremost, gargoyles need to be smashed with either a rock hammer, a rock throne hammer, or a granite hammer. And they must be smashed when they reach 9 HP or lower. Of course, the second requirement has already been stated, but I'll say it anyways, it's 75 Slayer. You need that to kill these guys. Other than that, that's the requirements. Let's move on to the recommendations. Alright guys, I got a quite a bit of amount of recommendations here, so let's get into the first one. And this one is pretty awesome, highly recommend it, it's called Gargoyle Smasher. It's a perk that you unlock from Slayer Masters for 120 Slayer points. What's great about this perk is that whenever you fight Gargoyles, when you have a rock hammer in your inventory, you can automatically smash Gargoyles without doing anything as soon as they get 9 HP or lower. The second recommendation I have is 61 Agility, which allows you to use the Spike Chain shortcut Cut that leads to the second floor of the Slayer Tower. When you go up this chain, guys, just keep in mind that there's some Aberrant Spectres up there, so that means if you do not have a Nose Peg or Slayer Helm equipped, you will have your stats drained. So it's best to have either a Nose Peg or a Slayer Helm equipped so you just negate that drain effect. The third recommendation that I have is to have Slayer Rings, and the reason why you want to have Slayer Rings is because there is a teleport on them that brings you directly to the front of the Slayer Tower entrance. Now you can unlock the ability to create Slayer Rings yourself, but you'll have to buy that perk from the Slayer Master, as well as you're going to have to have 75 crafting to have the ability to create these rings. If you don't have these requirements, you can either Purchase the rings separately with Slayer Points, which I don't recommend, or you can buy a Carl Teleport, which brings you right to Canifus. Alright, let's get into the combat recommendations. I'd say 80 plus attack strength and defense is recommended. Could have 75 plus, but I think that 80 plus is a little bit better because you can take more damage, you can deal more damage, and I feel like you're going to have a much better experience when you're 80 plus combat stats. And second is to have 55 magic so you can cast high alchemy because once again these guys drop alks so it's a really good idea to have that spell unlocked. And lastly 43 plus prayer, uh, you just need protection prayers for whatever reason that's about it. Another recommendation I have if you're looking to prolong your trips and you, if you have the funds is to have a full set of Guthans. Guthans is excellent here since you'll virtually be able to stay here forever because of Guthans healing property when you have the full set effect on. Alright guys, this is the loadout that I use for when I slay gargoyles, 
and let's start with the helm slot if you're on task obviously you're going to go with the imbued slayer helm and if you're off task you're going to go with a helm with natus knot go with an infernal cape if you have that fire cape skill cape or arty cloak if you don't have a fire cape i'd say arty cloak is probably your best bet next up is the amulet torture for your necklace slot you can downgrade this to an Amulet Fury and then downgrade that to an Amulet Glory. For your ammo slot, Rada's Blessing 4 is the best because it provides plus 2 prayer bonus. But you can downgrade that to any God Blessing for a plus 1 prayer bonus. Now, Gargles, as I've stated before, are weak to crush. So you could sub out a Rapier or the Abyssal Whip if you don't have money for a Rapier with a Leaf Bladed Battle Axe because this provides a crush offensive or if you have the money you could roll with an abyssal bludgeon the leaf bladed battle axe and abyssal bludgeon provide some of the best crush offensive bonuses in the game so if you want to roll with a offensive crush bonus to kill gargoyles since they're weak to crush then go for it but for me i just roll with the rapier defender now if you're going to use the defender a vernic defender is the best because of how it provides the most offensive stats and high strength bonus but People will optimally choose Dragon because a Vernic Defender is pretty expensive. And if you don't have Dragon Defender, then go with a Rune Defender or maybe a DFS Shield. Next up is your Torso slot. Go with Bando's Chestplate. That can be downgraded to Obsidian Plate Body or you can also go with Darox Plate Body, Torag's Plate Body if you want defensive, but if you want offensive, go Obsidian. Next up is the Leg Slot and best in slot would be Bando's Tacits. And you can downgrade these to the obsidian plate legs if you want the strength bonus, or you could just go with tank legs, so Torag's plate legs, as well as Darox plate legs. Next up is the glove slot. Now I don't have ferocious gloves, so the next best thing would be Barrow's gloves, and if you don't have Barrow's gloves, then go with rune gloves, or dragon gloves, or combat bracelet if you really gotta go down that far. And next thing would be the boot slot. Now for your boots, best in slot would be primordial boots. But if you don't have money for primordial boots, then go with dragon boots. And if you don't have money for dragon boots, then go with room boots. And finally is the ring slot. Now for your ring slot, you have to pretty much go with a berserker ring in butte. Like it's it's a plus eight strength bonus. It's amazing. If you don't have money for the berserker ring in general, then I'd say just go with a ring of wealth. For my inventory, I bring two super combat potions, a rune pouch full of high elk runes, a way to teleport to the Slayer Tower, in my case it will be Slayer Rings, full guffins for healing, an emergency teleport such as a house tele, but in my case I'll be using the construction cape, a rock hammer, and lastly, the rest of your inventory should be filled with high healing food such as sharks. You'll notice I have a few empty inventory spaces. I do this since I slay a dozen gargoyles before I have to eat anything meaning I need the empty inventory space to pick up the drops that the gargoyles leave behind. Use a slayer ring and teleport to Mauritania, or use the Carl teleport tab. The teleport tab can be bought off of the GE or created. You could also use the fairy ring code BKR, or you could go with the salve graveyard teleport tab. If you don't have access to any of these, then use the ecto file to teleport and walk to the tower. I still don't have these then your SOL. As soon as you teleport to any of these locations, just open up your map and you'll easily see the Slayer Tower in your vicinity. Then again, if you teleport with the Slayer Ring to Mauritania, you'll be teleported directly inside the Slayer Tower. Now that you're inside the Slayer Tower, if you have a Slayer task and want to slay gargoyles in the basement, you'll see that parallel to the front entrance there is a ladder that climbs down to the basement, and there you go. Here you are, you just go northeast and you'll see that gargoyles are there for you to slay. So that is the basement route. Pretty easy, and now on to the next few. The other locations for gargoyles is at the top of the Slayer Tower. So this is a picture of the ground floor. If you have the 61 agility shortcut using the spike chain, follow the red line and I circled the agility shortcut area. If you do not have this, then you need to follow the red line and then transitioning to following the pink line and I provided arrows as to the rooms that you take. As soon as you follow the pink line, you'll come across a staircase that leads you up to the second floor. So if you have the 61 agility shortcut, you're going to have to equip a nose peg or a slayer helm because aberrant specters are up here. So now that you're up here, 
you're just going to run north and then directly south as you come around that corner and you'll see a staircase and you're just going to click on that staircase and you're just going to run up that staircase going to go climb it and then once you're at the top floor you're just going to run east and there you go there's the gargoyles all right so if you don't have the agility shortcut for that spike chain you're gonna have to run through this entire floor now keep in mind we're still gonna go through aberrant specter so either have a Sarah helm or a nose peg equipped so as soon as you're done with the crawling hands rooms you're gonna run east so now we're running east and now we're gonna turn south and we're gonna run past these banshees we're just gonna keep going south now we're gonna run past these guys and then as we keep going south, we're going to see a staircase. We're going to go climb up that staircase. As soon as we're up on the staircase, we're going to run east. As you can see, there's there's the Aberrant Spectres. So we're going to have to run through them. So make sure you have that Nose Peg or Slayer Helm equipped. Otherwise, they will drain your stats. So you're going to run north. You're going to run past these Infernal Mages. And then you're going to run into the Blood Veld's room. You're going to keep running west. And then you're going to loop around to the south. And then you'll see a doorway you're going to go through that doorway and you're going to go through that now the average inspectors are here in this room you're going to run south keep going and you're going to see a staircase you're going to climb up that staircase and eventually once we get to the top you will see a gargoyle and this is the gargoyles room so here you are guys so let's say you have 71 agility now i didn't include this in recommendations because some people really hate agility but yeah, I'll include it anyways. So on the ground floor, you'll go through that uh, spike chain to go up, which is 61. And you're going to run through the Bloodveld's room. And you're going to run east as soon as you come to the top of that room. And you'll come across another spiky chain agility shortcut. Like I said, this requires 71 agility. I didn't include this in the recommendations because agility is pretty bothersome for people. And you'll come to the very top floor, skipping the staircase and... That's saving a lot of time. There's neck reels here. And as you run south, you'll walk through a doorway. And here we are, back at Gargoyles, guys. So to fight Gargoyles, all you do is left-click attack. And you're, either your character will crush them themselves because you have Gargoyle Smasher unlocked, or you'll click your rock camera on them when they're at 9 HP or lower. That's it, guys. That's how you slay Gargoyles. It's that simple. Oh, there it is. Rinse and repeat. Anyways, my name's Shenka Muffin. I do have a Discord server if you guys would like to join. Feel free to join and talk with me directly. And you can talk with like-minded individuals there. Anyways, guys, I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.